Hey, my gators. Welcome back to the Single Mom vs. Fixer Upper. I am playing with this editing tool, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this tasty, tasty eggnog pie. A great pie for the holidays. That's what it looks like, but this is going to be in a nostalgic filter. So I hope you guys enjoy and work with me. I'm trying to learn this editor. Later, gators. Enjoy. Hey, my gators. Hey, my gators. Welcome back to the single mom versus the fixer up on how to DIY and save a dime. Yes, you see it. If you are an eggnog lover like me and for the holidays, you just have to have your eggnog. You're going to love this pie. I promise you. Now, I have a custard pie on here. It's a buttermilk pie. And this is similar, but instead of using buttermilk, we're using eggnog. Now, this eggnog is from Aldi's and it was kind of expensive um it's Kemp so yeah it was kind of expensive the only thing that I didn't like it is extra thick it doesn't say extra thick extra creamy or anything like that I thought that the first one I had was bad so I took it back got another one I said you know what I'm not gonna take this back because guess what we're gonna figure out what to do with this so I decided instead of making my buttermilk pie I'm going to make an eggnog pie. So everything on the left, which is the almond, the cinnamon, I have a half of a lemon here and I have some salt, which is pink Himalayan salt that I put in the sea salt thing when it was empty. Those are my items that are optional. You do not have to have them, but for the actual basic recipe, you need three eggs. We're gonna crack those, beat those first. A fourth cup of melted butter, a fourth cup of flour, three fourth cup of sugar, and pie crust of your choice. I decided to go with the Aldi's already made pie crust, and I'm going to put it in my pie pan. I don't like to buy the crust that's already in the pie pan. I'd rather use these because I have traditional and deep dish glass pans. I don't like those aluminum pans. They are bad and very toxic for you. So do your research on that. So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is going to take my pie, put it in here, poke some holes, and throw it in the oven. This will prevent your pie crust from becoming soggy at the bottom. I like my crust to be crispy and cooked through when I make my pies. So I'm going to put this in the oven first and then we're going to get to making the filling. And by the time we're done with that, this pie crust should be ready for the filling. So let's get into that. And you can freeze this. This was frozen. I did unthawed and bring it out for the pie because I did make one of these already and it is already gone. So I'm like, okay, let me use the other crust and make another one. Um, yeah. Let me get this crust right. I'll be right back. What you want to poke um, holes in it so to prevent it from bubbling up while it bakes in the oven and then put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. I'm going to set the timer. No. No. Nope. Let me erase that. Hold on, guys. All right, let me crack these and beat them. All right, let's get into this bowl. First thing you want to do is put your sugar. That's one fourth cup. One fourth cup of flour. You want to put those in. This is where I like to add some cinnamon optional all right and we're gonna whisk this up helps it to be airy and fluffy and then after I do that I'm gonna take and add about I'll say a little bit about a fourth teaspoon of that leave that like that next step is we're going to add two cups of the eggnog. So we should have two nice cups. So that's one cup and two cups. Then we're going to add our eggs. You do not need a mixer for this. You can literally um, whisk this and be fine. Okay. Then we're going to add, after I whisk it a little bit, just to cool off, make sure everything is cool, so that way the eggs don't start cooking. Then I'm gonna pour in my melted butter, and this is salted butter. And then we're gonna take and mix this up really well. You see how easy that is, guys? Just literally 
whisk, 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 whisk. You do not need a mixer, a hand mixer, nothing like that. So, I'm gonna make sure we get all this good old eggnog out of here. And I want y'all, when y'all make this, to let me know what your family thought. So, we're gonna take some vanilla. I don't measure, but I'll say put like a good teaspoon of vanilla. I like almond. I love almond in my sweet potato pies. I love it in a lot of my pe pecan pies. Like, I love my almond. So, I put a little bit of almond and I put some um, vanilla. I'm going to put about a good, I'll say two. I hope that wasn't a seed. I thought I got them out. A nice amount of lemon I'll say that was about two teaspoons of it there's a flavor that I know I'm going for which is why I put all the optional things like the salt the almond I don't like it amazingly ridiculously sweet okay <laughs> I want it just sweet enough because I do add if I decide I want ice cream or if I decide I want whipped cream I do put that on the top of my pie this is literally going to give you the same texture as a sweet potato pie y'all it's so good if you tried the buttermilk pie just think of that with just the eggnog taste that's what you're going to get with this it to me is giving like sweet potato without that orange color it, it's really good and it's less expensive now that this is mixed really well i'm just waiting on the pie crust to put it on put it in and throw it in the oven for about 45 minutes and I'm gonna show you what you want it to look like once it's time so the pie crust is out and yeah it's not letting me be great but it doesn't matter we're not gonna mess up a great recipe so we're gonna go in and pour this custard inside this pie pan like so let me get my favorite tool because we want to get all the goodness out of this bowl we want to get all the goodness out when I say this is so simple, so easy, a great pie recipe that you can make, um, not a lot to prep or do. Um, if you're looking for a nice holiday pie, something a little different than the norm. And then I just take and I put some cinnamon lightly on top like that. I love cinnamon. Like <laughs> Cinnamon makes it all better. So yeah. Just dust it with cinnamon, and we're going to put this in the oven, and I'll show you what it should look like um, when you take it out. All right, guys. Always clean as you go, but I just wanted to stop in while that is still in the oven. Listen, if you have anyone in your family that loves some eggnog, I promise you, they won't be disappointed. This would be a nice Christmas gift, a nice um, holiday treat to bring you know as a dessert or something i promise you it is amazing and i want you to let me know in the comments if you try this i'll try to put up in here somewhere the um the ingredients i'll stick them on the screen so you can screenshot it or whatever in the video i'm not going to put them in the description because a lot of times people don't watch the video they just look for the, <laughs> the direction so i'll try to put them inside the video um probably way before you hear me talking right now i'll put them in where you can screenshot it all right so let's continue waiting and i'll show you what it looks like okay, so let me show you what it should look like you want to hit it and it, you can tell it's firm but a little jiggle but not much we're going to take it out and we're going to leave it out so it can cool and it'll get more solid when it cools and i'll show you what it should look like in the inside now you want to take something and kind of touch it and if it jiggles, this is not completely done. So it's going to stay probably for another, I'll say 15, 20 minutes. It depends on your oven because I want that brown coating to be a little bit darker where it literally will look like a sweet potato pie almost. So it's continuing to cook. Guys, see it? It's got that golden look to it and it is still bubbling. So what you want to do is let this sit for at least 30, 45 minutes or more. I would say... I won't touch it for a couple hours, to be honest with you. So see how it has a dark coating, but you could also see it's a little jiggly, but it will firm up. So just leave it like that and then come back and enjoy it. So when I'm ready to enjoy it, I'm going to cut this bad boy so y'all can see it and show you what the inside should look like. Oh, it's so good. And it's going to set like it's puffy now. I'm braiding. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got jam on my hand. It's puffy now. 
but it's gonna set and get flatter so it won't be as puffy when i come back and you'll see that all right i'll be back guys all right all right my gator so it has cooled you see how it dropped down and it is time for me to cut into it and put a little whipped cream on it and show you how the inside looks so let's get ready let me take it off the cooling rack all right guys listen <laughs> excuse me but i am literally kind of sort of in pain my back is trying to lock up but i had to finish this video before um any of us cut into it without sharing it first so i'm going to get me a nice piece Ooh, -ooh. and make sure i get down deep i'm gonna cut a nice piece and put us some whipped cream on it yeah let's see if it comes out <laughs> Ooh, come on there we go y'all see that do y'all see that do y'all see that let's get us some whipped cream oh my gosh hold on hold on hold on so i just got some uh all these whipped topping and i'm going to throw a dollop on like so that's how i like to eat mine it's so good it's so good let me close this up that's what it looks like and this is the texture and doesn't it oh <laughs> i'm not editing that doesn't it mimic like a sweet potato pie but just a lighter version mm -hmm. you gotta try it you gotta try it i promise you if you like eggnog and sweet potato pie or buttermilk pie you're going to love it enjoy let me know if you make it below i love this it's like a caramelized kind of like that taste of creme brulee on top is so good all right later gators talk to me in the comments i'll talk back